The last holiday weekend of the summer is here and millions of Americans are getting out of town. Yeah, Fox News correspondent Garrett Tenney gives us a look at the travel forecast. As the summer season winds down, more than half of Americans are headed out of town this Labor Day weekend. Demand for travel continues to surge following the pandemic. According to AAA, domestic bookings have increased 4% for Labor Day weekend this year, while international travel is seeing a 44% jump. Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg giving an update on the weekend travel forecast. This weekend is capping what TSA reports is the busiest summer travel period on record. While the TSA expects 14 million people to take to the skies this weekend, even more folks will be driving to their destination. So while it's not as big of a holiday weekend, it's still going to be pretty busy out on the roads this weekend. About 40% of people say their travel plans look a bit different this year, and that means a lot more cars on the road. Inflation in addition to gas prices leading many folks to keep their trips closer to home this year. The national average for a gallon of gas sitting at 381 today, slightly higher than a month ago and nearly the same as last year. I definitely am double thinking whether I'm going to take some of those road trips and, you know, do I need to use the car as much? I usually stay at home to stay out of the crowds and all the traffic. But well, not this year. Not this year, no. Got, a, got my, my nephew's wedding and uh, would not miss that for the world. If you are hitting the road, AAA advises leaving early in the morning or later in the afternoon to avoid heavy traffic. In Chicago, I'm Garrett Tenney, Fox News.